broke farmer. This one's for you. We need to get together because I need to send you something, something that you will really enjoy. In the meantime, you sparked something in me the other day. I was watching you and Lioncrest and Echo Neighbor uh, on your live. And um, <clears throat> you said, take care of your investment. Well, uh, let me show you an investment we've got here. These mimosa trees. We've got a few of them in here. But this cherry tree we planted, and I've topped it a couple of times, and I'm trying to get it to split out and be more of a ball. And you can see I've got another good lateral in here, another one here. And uh, I really waited too long letting this stem grow before I topped it. I tried to top it. Let's see if I can find that old top mark. I think it was here. I tried to top it up here, but it was so green, it just, it busted right through that top mark. It shot buds and So I'm doing a little deep summer watering on this tree. It's been dry for a little while. And uh, just giving it a little boost. And so I've got a rain gauge. Hold on. A couple of rain gauges. Haha, <laughs> I caught your lip. Caught you lapsing. Oh, you've been swimming this morning, hadn't you? I see. Yeah. Does it feel good to take a dip? Good early morning swim? I know you got up to your noggin in it, didn't you? A tear or two that popped up. I think Jason Avers said his cana lilies were blooming. Don. Don Juan. These will bust off and be gold in the fall. This has a little blackberry, but it's I've been pulling these. My daughter, uh, she took her senior pictures in a sunflower patch. So we planted these. I think there's a video on that. Um, maybe scrolling across the top. Yeah. These all volunteered this year. I guess they're congratulating Chloe. Hi, hey, Chloe. Chloe. This needs to come out.
need to do some work back there on that uh, other cherry tree. But I did spray it with neem oil to remove the biters off of it headed into the hot days of August. And we are getting ready to get a very nice display. Can't wait to see this one. I need to clip the top again. This fall is getting a little big. Beautiful plant. This was a cheapie from Wally World and it has not failed to deliver. So, you know, the hot days of summer, what are you going to do when you come inside and you've been out working and you just, you're suffering because of how warm it is. For me, it's a new chicken pen. I got to do something with the, uh, the run side of this. I think I want to put two runs down the back pasture. Um, but... I hadn't quite got that figured out. Those hot days when I'm inside planning, thinking about what I'm going to do this winter, fall, and winter projects. Start planning that now. So, Miss Kathy, North Star Prep Stetter, sent me some comfrey. Thank you, Miss Kathy. It's doing really well. And I've got a guy that I'm supposed to send some comfrey to. I think I can do that this year. Yeah, we're cleaning the pig up a little bit. Uh, it's way past time for that. I'm gonna spit shine her up and uh, get her ready for, to go in motion. Independence Day. You dig? I'm getting old. And that BC alternative. Uh, Sherry, you asked me about the lilacs, and they're over by the comfrey. Uh, they're alive, and uh, hoping to get them planted next season in the fall. Today, and, uh, 
they might need a little bit of that uh, neem oil as well. Channel. Welcome to our family picnic. Welcome to the woodcutters. Hey, that's right. Hey! 